Hi everybody, welcome back to your channel, Hey Kalpana Ma'am. This time I've come up with a motivational speech. And the topic is, guess what? Uh, anyway, let me just guess it out for you. I mean, let me just reveal it out for you. It's human relations. Yes, human relations, which is very, very, very important. Yes. So I'm here to speak about the human relations, how the human relationships are actually built, spoiled, get spoiled, and then what? Then how it gets regained back. If ever there's any misunderstanding, how it gets regained back. So that's what I'm here to talk about. So human here, human relationship that I mean is it in, I mean it includes not only friends and relatives but it also includes strangers and acquaintance. Acquaintance, once in a month, uh, yeah, once in a month, there's a person who visits the company, he takes everything and then, I mean, uh, he, he just comes and collects some data and he goes. That's what's an acquaintance. Once in a while you see that person. Ah. Strangers are the one whom you haven't met at all. Ah. Okay, so here, how the human relations are being gauged I'm here to speak about that. See, uh, you pack your luggage and you want to know that what's the weight of it? Do you have a weighing machine, right? In the same way, people also gauge you by your method. You're gauged by, by uh, each and every cell circle through a measuring method. So I'm here to speak about that. So you would have heard about graphs. Graph how you have zero and then one, two, three, four, and the number gets added up, right? And on the opposite side, you have minus one, minus two, minus three, minus four, right? Isn't it? So the same way, coming to a stranger, the stranger doesn't know you, you don't know the stranger. But if everybody of you are in a journey with a stranger, the, the way he or she behaves or the, the how they present themselves, they, how they behave with you, it's not necessarily that someone should buy you something. It's not that. But overall, how was the journey? You gauge that person, the stranger as, yeah, my journey was really good. I had a good time with the stranger. It's not necessary that you need to reveal all your secrets, all your information, right? So this is one kind of, of uh, sharing your information, of being casual, normal, simple. Okay, so first visit, your visit was really good. You gauge that, that stranger as, yes. He, it was really nice. You gauge it from zero. The person, you give the point as one, plus one. But may, maybe you, you would have shared something. Just think you would have shared something really important whom you haven't. I mean, you would have, you would have thought of a, 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 a plan and you wouldn't have executed, but it was just in your mind. So you just felt like sharing it to a stranger. You didn't share that to any of your friends, circle, known circles at all. But all of a sudden you get to know this and that person knows this person very well. Then you throw that person from one to minus one. That's how they're engaged. Then you then the person is decide, then the person decides that no, I oh my god, you're so dangerous. Ah, that's how you're engaged. Now coming to acquaintance. Acquaintance are like you know what you would have heard about someone and the person comes and visit once in a while. Ah, never go on anybody's version, right? If the person has heard good about you, then already you would be in, in, in plus one. Ah, if their thoughts and your thoughts match, their likes and your likes match, their thinking and your thinking matches, then obviously it would be already in plus one. Ah, then the way they talk to you, the way you behave, the way you mingle, then it goes plus 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 but in times if ever they would have heard bad about you ah, already you'll be in minus one scale that's how people use. so coming from once you go in any of the circles let it be relatives friends or strangers or acquaintance if you go minus very difficult to come back to plus very very difficult therein you decide this is i if i wish i will accept this person so it becomes the, I mean, the person takes a turn that, yeah, okay, fine. I will decide him. 
I do have him as a friend. Ah. So once you go back to minus, it's difficult, very difficult to come back to zero. You have to come to zero, then again, by your behavior, you go, uh, you travel in positive end, that is plus one, plus two. Now coming to uh, friend circle as well as uh, as well as uh, our relatives, right? There also, this is how you are being caged. You do something good, you you give your best to get something done by using your resources. Then automatically, see your relatives and your friends. Obviously, they are your friends and relatives. But they are related, right? Doesn't they know you much much about you? So obviously, you will be in a positive scale only. Huh? But if you oh, see someone needs anything and you have tried, you have given your your used your resources to get their work done. Obviously, you travel two steps back uh, ahead, two steps ahead. But anything wrong goes, one single misunderstanding. Immediately, if you're in, at number, uh, say, number seven, you have reached, directly you'll be thrown to minus seven. Is it that easy to travel from minus seven to minus six to five, four, it's coming to zero, and again coming to plus? No, that's really very difficult. So, usually, this happens when we hear about one small message that I would like to give you is, is that never gauge anyone or never judge anyone by others versions at all. My friends say so. Never ever do that. What is your opinion? To your designation, to your post, was the respect being given or not? You were being given respect and smile or not? You don't know to keep up that respect, then what is the use? Even a pure wishes you, you should respect the pure. Ah. We should always respect others. Ah. So never underestimate anyone by others' version. By others' version at all. So this is what is the message. I hope uh, you will definitely uh, take this into concern and never judge people by others' version. Always you take a turn that yeah. This happened to me because of this. That's the reason I am angry with this person. Ah, that's how it should be. Not by rumors. Ah, you are hungry. You have to eat. You eat food, right? She is hungry. If you eat food, will she? Uh, I mean, will you? Will you feel okay? Will you get the fill? No. If you are thirsty, you need to quench the thirst, not the other person, right? That funda you follow very nicely. But then why do you follow others' rumors? Ah. If, what, if they don't get along with someone, obviously they'll come and say the same thing, right? Always judge others by your question. This is the message. Have a great day. Bye-bye.